Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Sugar, and welcome to the Who's an Indie. Being strategic, tactical, survival indie games to your face holes. Today's indie game is Maelstrom, apparently version 2. Now, this is multiplayer, so I can't. Um. Doubt, you know, talk about the chat in the middle because it may be a bit bad. But this game is. I'm just going to straight up start the battle so you don't have to see that. Uh. A battle royale game where 12 fantasy ships of the line fight to the death in the ocean for winning, basically. So, yeah, you are literally a fantasy ship that's currently humans, elves, dwarfs, and undead. It's completely free. You build up money, you buy new ships, and so on, as you can see. Uh, it's, a lot, it's a bit of money to buy new ships. I am currently running a... Um, a DLC they gave me, which gives me the undead warship. So it's literally an undead battleship. So yeah, an undead battleship. So each ship has its own abilities. No one's swearing at me. Its own unique attributes and so on. And usually the difference is where the cannons are. The Undead Battleship has three sets of cannons, and you can see one both sides and the rear. And every ship has armour and hull. Is that good? Yeah, so it has armour and hull. So you get resources and money by killing AI ships and other player ships. And obviously certain ships are faster than others. You can't kill each other, this is just a dick, uh, dicking about. Yeah, but you can't... Um, so you kill other ships, they have the armour, which is the top bit, the red is obviously their hull. You are trying to destroy them. There is going to be a red ring at the bottom. You actually look at bottom right, that's the map. Yeah, you can't actually kill me, you know. There we go. So when you start off, you're looking for other ships to kill. There's an enemy fighting over there, you can see the combat and hear it. Which gives you money and sometimes power-ups. You're trying to kill as many of these as you can. Well, keeping an eye on things. There's something coming out. It's an armor gun. I'll take that. And obviously, you're trying to be the last one standing, which gives you more money and experience. Experience levels up your ship, which you can then use to get more stuff. Because you can actually upgrade your ships, which is a bit, you know, the more powerful people probably have a lot more upgrades than you, which means they're more powerful, which is a bit, you know, it is what it is. There we go, more money. The more money you use to buy upgrades, you also use that to buy crew, which gives you special abilities, of which I currently have none. And of course you can use it to buy new ships. There are four factions, four races, and each one has three ships, although the undead only has two right now, with this being the most powerful. The special ability of this ship is, if the enemy shoots me, their cannons suddenly start firing slower. And the dwarven one is significantly more powerful and takes less damage, but again, it also depends on which ship you have. And there's maelstroms. If you leave the circle, a gigantic um, whale shot, I guess like a megalodon, eats you. Obviously, you can go down into there. Okay, there's someone. And you obviously get a um, oh, pick up. Get money, which you can then use. Obviously, if you win, you keep the money. It smells of death. The first wave's coming in. Like I say, this ship so far is usually comes in top three. Not because I'm a good player. Because I'm not, but possibly because it's, you know, a DLC ship, which means it would have cost money otherwise. Now you can ram the enemy, you have four different types of ammunition, you can see in the bottom. There we go, that one's mine. As you can see, it just killed them both. So yeah, I don't know if like the DLC ships are more powerful, or if you're meant to have unlocked this a lot later. As you can see, I just destroyed those two and an AI. Now, usually I only lose if I go out. But we'll see. I might actually lose in this. But the DLC ship you can buy with real money is quite powerful. Now, just because it's a free game, you will find a lot of the economy is locked behind real money, which in this case is like Bowser Gunpowder. Now, you can win Bowser Gunpowder. So you can win battles of gunpowder. Obviously it takes a significant amount of time to level up and do quests. 
So it's a lot easier to just buy it. So we'll be trying to push you into buying it for cosmetics and also probably a few extra tributes. I have to move into here. Now I've already killed two ships, that's already going well. Okay, should have gone to there. You can also hide into here, there's an enemy over there, that's MIDI. Don't know what they are. Oh, it's a dwarven steamboat. Good. So they can't see me because I'm caught in the fog. They will be able to in a second. Good, good. Ram them. But yeah, like I say, my ship is very powerful. It's got not much armor. Got a lot of hull, though. So if it gets shot a lot, it will go down. But it can take a lot of hits. And like I say, every time someone shoots it, they do less shot. So this ship, which was given to me, obviously, for... YouTube's purposes. It's very powerful. I don't know, you know, how powerful things get, but there you go. There's another ship dead. I've even been playing like three, four games so far. Okay, I need to leave this stuff. It's coming in. Five enemies left. So I think most battles are 12 enemies. Well, 12 ships total. I need to leave because I do not want to get eaten. Now, I have briefly played the dwarf one. I quite like the dwarves. The dwarves are really powerful. They have omnidirectional. They can shoot in every direction. Uh oh. Don't think they spotted me yet. Okay, that's three ships left. I can see them both there at the bottom of the map. Two ships left. Okay, there's just two other enemies. Hopefully they'll fight each other, but I'm pretty sure that was going to come for me. I'm going to stick my regular stuff. I'm not going to try and take out its sail. Ignore you. Did it go into there? Oh, there it is. Oh, missed. There we go. But yeah, this ship doesn't have much armor. As you can see in the left hand side, it shows how much armor is on each side. But as you can see, it doesn't really matter to me. Because I do significantly more damage. Okay, he's pushing me. There we go, another one down. So I honestly can't tell if it's because I'm just doing well or the ship's just overpowered. There we go, dead. It's a fun game. I actually do recommend this game. Where's the AI gone? I mean, yeah, the AI, the final player. Okay, my hull's a bit damaged. Let's grab some upgrades. Looks like I'm going into the pit. That's repaired me. It's definitely sped me up as well. I was only doing 200. So there are different, like, weapon types you can use. Obviously, they don't really matter too much. Is the enemy going to come in here to fight? I like this. There he is. He's outside. He's outside. So yeah, entirely... Oh, look at that. So when you die, you get a little sailboat. <laughs> they can move around. So you can buy other sailboats. But they obviously cost real money. Where is it? There he is. So yeah, obviously my ship could dish a lot of damage. Oh. <laughs> and that's the first time I've actually seen a player stay to the end. Now I don't know how much damage they've taken. Let's go. That was quite powerful for me. Okay, they're, they're going down. That's their armor going. Okay, good. I critical them. They rammed me. We're going for boarding action. Ow, ow, ow. They're shooting me. Quick, let me go. Let me go. 
But as you can see, my armor and my health is still really, really high. And I've yet to lose. I don't know if it's the ship. I really don't know. Because I shouldn't be that powerful on my first ship, which like I said, I got as a code. But there you are. The dread ship. Oh, never mind. There's one, two... There was two of the dread ships out there, apparently. Pretty sure I killed one of them myself. Oh well. Maybe you... Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but that was quite fun. I actually do enjoy it. If it is just because I'm better, I'd be very surprised because I'm not. So as you can see, you do these, you get gold, you get experience for your current ship. These are the gunpowder barrels you need. These are battle pass reward tiers. You need that to get battle pass. There's obviously gunpowder. It's a currency we can spend on premium stuff, so I need to actually get more gold. I've got time for that. Actually, you can collect this one. Ooh. And now 15 bells. So the battle pass here, you earn rewards, as you can see. So I have a mate contract. They give you special abilities. You only have so many mates. We'll talk about that. Obviously, if I paid a thousand bells, I can buy, get this stuff too. And a title, but obviously that's uh, more expensive. So the world quest, as you can see, human, orc, dwarf. Oh, it's orcs, not elves. Board ships, you have to actually do that. Uh, so you've got battle pass, you've got the quests, you've got the store. And as you can see, you can buy ranked abilities, like undead mates, orc mate contracts. And that gives you different abilities on your ship. And you can have different things, you can upgrade your ship. But, I should say, every time you upgrade it... Let's see, that's my lifeboat. Your basic guy. Every time you upgrade your ship... Let's see, that's not that one. Where is it? Let's see, I press, I can press this. So I can upgrade my ship for... Oh, thank you for the money. 25,000, which gives me more guns. As you can see here, it gives me a new hard point. As you can see, this makes my ship more powerful. I'm now a rank 4 ship, which gives me... an extra turn rate extra armor and aft cannons. This gives me even more port and starboard cannons, but a more longer firing delay. So as you can see, this is significantly more powerful. And you can also have, as you can see here, a mate slot for 20k. Uh, captain, captains are quite expensive. Like this one's 150 grand. So you can make yourself more powerful. This one here gives me extra critical chance. Um, a combat flag is up for less, which I think allows you to like heal and stuff outside of combat. But as you can see, like here we've got the dwarfs, which I have the storm anchor in messing about with, it's kind of cool, it fires in every direction. There's obviously these, like small fast ships, and these are really heavy ships. This is a battleship, as you can see, high hull, many aft cannons. And I like it. You can also play with friends, not got anyone else who plays this game. But it's a very interesting spin, because I actually like seafaring games. I love seafaring or fantasy games. But there isn't that many out there. Oh, look at that lifeboat. 800 barrels. <sighs> A thousand barrels is $10. That ship there is $10. Yeah. $10 just to have your lifeboat changed. Which means if you want to customise your ship and how it looks, you're looking at about 20 to $30 just to customise one ship. $10! I mean, yeah, cool, it's... Um, yeah, cool, it's... Um, I thought he lost what I was saying. But it, you know, it can have a lifeboat on all different ships, which looks nice and different, but $10! Sorry, this shit boarding. Does that count as boarding action? No, it does not. I have to actually board in battle. That's a shame. Okay, so now I know that some of the enemies have some big ships. There's one over there. But yeah, the game looks really nice. Actually, I really love how this game looks. It's beautiful. It's free to play, so yeah, go out. Oh. Okay, he now knows there's someone in here. 
Did I? Oh, I left all. I killed him last time. He might not want to fight me. Or he'll try and catch me when I'm not fighting him. So my arm on the front is currently down. I'll be needing a better arm up. Obviously, I'm going to try and get as many of these anchors as possible because it pushes me further up the battle pass. Even if it's only the free version. Because obviously it gives you stuff like more money, more experience. Sometimes it even gives you actual battles of gunpowder. Oh, no, no, don't push. So obviously you are using WAS to move around. You can't fully slow yourself down. But you can slow yourself down. Okay, where is left hall? No enemies are dead currently. Looks like everyone's trying to upgrade. Oh, there goes Deacons. That was left hall or leaf hall. They were here somewhere, look. Where'd they go? Anastasia has claimed Nils bound. So these guys are getting more powerful because they're taking drops from the character. So. I need to start finding something to murder. Because otherwise I'm going to die. But it looks like there's no one around. Also, there are different currents in the game as well. So you can move around faster or slow, depending on which way you're going. Come on, give me a red dot. Damn it. I might actually lose this when I haven't found anyone. But yeah, the game is fun. Okay, that's more dead people. There's a red guy off the map, bottom right, as you can see. He's about to get eaten. He will get eaten by the enemy. This is really nice maps. I love the designs. Six people. I've not met anyone. Huh. Okay. That's another one. So Anastasia's probably going to kill me. Left, it was lethal, not left hall. I've not met anybody, so I'm going to be easily killed. Oh, there's someone. That's a good bit. Let's not kill it, though. Yes, yeah, is a really nice designed air battle arena. Obviously, most of it is literally just aesthetics. But the aesthetics are nice. Where'd it go? Oh, I'm going to lose so I couldn't find anything to kill. Also, my frame rate keeps dropping. I don't know why. It actually runs a lot smoother when I'm not running capture. But yeah, I need a better mate. Obviously, the money you get on this, because you buy things, you do get power creep. It doesn't make you super powerful, but you do get power creep. Because obviously if I buy a first mate who's level 4 or level 3, they might be more powerful than a level 1. So you do get a potential chance that, you know, you're just simply more powerful than other players just because you have been playing longer. Unlike stuff with PUBG where you can't do that. Maybe just going to stay over there. Okay. There you go, that's way past my speed limit. 320, 350. Oh, there he is, that's lethal. Audio. Oh, my dear. going to escape into death. Okay, that's fine. Yep, now he's in the middle. That's not good for him. I will not go down without a fight! There's too many people here!
Oh, I'm actually going to die. First time, because I couldn't find any items. It's amazing. See, so smells of death. Time to leave. That's a problem. Yeah, I need to heal. Okay, I'm in the devil waters. My first death. He's rammed me back in! Sod it! If I'm gonna die, I'm bringing him with me. Okay, I took him with me, as it were. But yeah, that's actually much better. So when you die, you die. Obviously, it shows how you're doing. Yeah, fine, I'll take that. I think my problem there is I didn't get the items. 10% for skin equipped. 25%. See this? This is where it's going to get you. It's going to make you want to buy that. 10% for skin, which is premium. 25% for battle plus, which is premium. 50% for premium, which is premium. This here is an extra 75, 85% extra everything because of premium, which is where they're going to try and make their money. Which I'm okay with. For, you know, it's free to make it kind of that stuff, but let's have a look. How much is the battle pass? A battle pass is a thousand. So this battle pass is ten dollars. Hmm. Fine. Thank you. Congratulations, Crash Great Rank 2 mate. Uh Powder Monkey. Hold on, but damage I'll take you. You rang. So yes, this uh this is ten dollars. Uh to get the skin, we're looking at probably about Ten dollars. Let's have a look. Let's see. I have stock that. This is unlocked via Steam DLC. So you have to buy this, which might be a lot more money. This obviously was a DLC as well, which I got for free. Show off the game. Where am I current? A few awards. Rank one. Huh. Interesting. Rank 101 to 1,000 is 10,000 gold, 5 gunpowder. Where am I on the leaderboard then? I, am I even on the leaderboard? I've only played like 4 or 5 games. But yeah, so you're looking at uh, about $10 for the pass. $10 for a skin, give or take. <sighs> My gods. And loot title. Look, a looter title is a dollar. The quick starter bundle is $25, but the refund's available, so that's okay. The Dragon bundle is $15. This Reaver Captains, just for Captains, is $10, $10, $10. $10. So, and a booster, a, bo a single day is a dollar. Yeah, a single day is a dollar. So you're going to be spending a lot of money if you're planning on playing this game quite significantly. So you're going to have to balance if you can play this game and have fun as a free thing. Which I think I can. I think I can have fun as a free thing. Because it's actually quite enjoyable. But it is expensive to get anything nice. Ten dollars. Like a booster for a dollar. I think... What's the booster price on Warfaith? But yeah, it's fun. I definitely recommend playing it. I wouldn't recommend paying. But not recommend paying it. But it is fun to play. As you can see, I started off green. General Imaginaire. Okay. saying crew and stuff are dying. It shows me a crew number. I've never dropped below the amount of crew. God, look at that. But yeah, the, the game looks lovely. It plays very well. It's actually amazingly fun. 
just don't think that their prices are quite good at the moment. Because they should want to encourage you, not try and force you. Because obviously, people who are paying have suddenly have a lot more gold and things. And in this game, oh, where you are paying, as opposed to, you know, other games, you get items which make you more powerful, like that officer and that mate. Getting gold and experience in this game makes you more powerful from the very beginning. Which is difficult in these games, because once it makes you more powerful at the very beginning, you're basically paying for power. If I can sort that out, yeah, it'd be very fun. I would actually buy more things, although it is already pretty darn fun. Okay, there's a fight going on around here. Oops. Don't you dare, they're stealing my money! Okay, killed it. Stole my bloody money! So obviously I'm trying to get as much experience and stuff as possible, but yeah. It's fun! Wait till the price is sold out. This open beach, so maybe they'll change that, although I doubt it. Usually shop prices are set in stone, but it is very fun as a free game. Did General Imagine there just die? See smells of death. What's this? What's blue? Is that speed? No. Oh. No, I wouldn't that. Gimme. Give, Give me more firepower so I'm stronger. But yeah, it's all about killing things to grab stuff. So once you start seeing other people killing stuff and you haven't, you're probably already going to die. Like I could easily have taken out that dwarven ship on my own in the last game. When the other guy came in that big galleon, I was doomed. Like one on one early stage, this ship is so much more powerful. I hear combat. I do like this game and how it looks. Okay, if you actually look at the bottom, we've got ouch. Oh, really? No, that's annoying. Merkwater Thrasher's Etta ship. Okay, there's, Gaw there's Gunda and Thorn. Whoever wins, has got to deal with the other one. Okay, that's one down. Okay, I'll take them now. Board me. I think I have more stuff than them. So red is crew, not health. Okay, fine. However, I have better cannons than you. I just got an achievement for stealthy. Nothing stealthy about that. That's what I'm talking about. This ship just seems generically more powerful. Anyway. I've been the Fallen Shogun, actually we're going to start, we're going to do this whole mission. We're going to win or die, you're going to see. Grab all this stuff before it closes. Give me that firepower, come back here firepower. Yeah, I recommend it to play, for fun, play with your friends. It's definitely fun to mess around with. But I wouldn't say recommend it for price. Okay, we'll have to go back the way it came. You okay, have more firepower, so I have six armors, four firepowers, and three anchors. Okay. Sink enemy battleships in a battleship. Am I not a battleship? Guess I haven't found a battleship. Okay, that means someone might be over here in this corner. But yeah, despite talking about it, this is fun, and I'm actually having a lot more fun than I expected. Okay. No, 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 no. There's combat somewhere. Is that behind me? I think it's inside the um, cave system. 
Oh, you're injured. I got a knockback for that. Okay, there's two people outside being eaten. This guy is obviously attacking me. I don't know, I just fought against some of the exact same ship and wiped them. I wouldn't say I'm good at the game. I really would not say I'm good at the game, so I'm not sure why I'm doing well. Oh, the enemy has to come to me, perfect. Oh, they can go stealthy, they've got their special ability. Luckily their ship is very, very weak, so... dead! Oh, it was a battleship. Like I said, I would not call myself a good person at this game. Yeah, in three battles, the only one I lost was when three people ganged up on me at once. Even two on one at the beginning, I'm really powerful, so yeah. I've got a rank bonus. That was fun though, I am enjoying this game. Like I said, I've talked about the pricing and things, I'm not fighting in a frigate, but I'm still wiping the enemy out significantly. It's awesome. Okay, now I need to buy myself a new first mate slot. Okay, welcome. Oh, I only have no mates yet. Okay, I only have one mate. I thought I got myself a mate contract. Where's that gone? 46,000? Give me a rank 1 undead mate contract. Uh, ramming speed, turn rate, turn acceleration. Yes. Okay. There we are. As you can see, that is buying power. I am now faster and stronger. But yeah. But I'm enjoying this. Either way, I've been the Fallen Show. It's been another Who's That Indie first impression. Give the game a try. It's free and it's open beta right now. Link down in the description below. Have fun. Be awesome. Be epic. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me every month. Thanks to you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Did I say watch or watching? Who knows?